Alright guys, hit Chris Schuler whenever you're ready. Chris, first goal as a lion, just what did you see out there and how to feel to find a good ball back in the back? I saw one of the best forwards in the country squaring up on the goalie and knew that he wouldn't be able to hold on to it, so I just made a run through expecting the rebound and the timing worked out. How much relief is just in this in this locker room now after getting the first win in nearly two months, over two months? Yeah, it's, it's been quite a while, and you know, uh, we put a high standards on ourselves despite the bad results, this string of losses. It's, you know, we know we got enough talent in the locker room to get some wins, so it feels cool to be able to execute and walk away with three points, especially at home. How is much you, of a relief is it to get, to get the streak over? How much is the relief? It's just cool to execute, you know. We take every game one at a time, kind of try to look forward, and it's cool to look at Toronto, you know, the defending champions, and, you know, they got a lot of talent on the field as well, so uh, we won today. It feels good. Has James O'Connor kind of changed almost the culture right now in training and, and leading up into these matches? Yeah, he's got his own uh, set of principles, his own set of uh, standard of expectations, and he makes that very clear. So, yeah, it's a, it's a definitely a new framework to work in. So there's been a lot of changes. Things any different with Earl Edwards behind you instead of Joe Bendick? Excuse me? Are things any different with uh, Earl Edwards behind you instead of Joe Bendick? Yeah, I think there are always differences. Uh, Everybody's got different personality, play with different players, but there's definitely consistency in making big time saves and a lot of confidence, whoever's behind us. Both those guys are very talented. There's so been a lot of consistent play lately. James as a team was a little bit low in confidence when he came in. Why are you still starting to see and then his wing kind of be still more confidence to kind of pursue another victory? It's crazy because in this sport it doesn't really matter how you do in practice and we've always, you know, tried our best in practice, but you get the win on the field and everything's good. No matter how well you do on or off the field, you just gotta win. So we won today and everything's good. Chris, Coach, you mentioned the game, kind of what the crowd brought to the game tonight. Did you just kind of sense a different energy in tonight's home game? It's always good to play in front of this crowd, man. I think we got one of the best setups in the entire country. Uh, even one of the opponents was remarkable about the game and how cool it is to be able to play here in front of the fans in Orlando. So uh, I'm super happy to be able to play in front of the home crowd for sure. Chris, the team not only defended well, but it seemed to control that back line pretty well. Do you feel that's a change as of recently? Do you think that's something you guys have been working on for a long time? Uh, you know, with guys in and out of the back line, consistency is always an uh, important factor. And we've been working through it this week in practice, so we've seen incremental gains. So, yeah, things are trending up for sure. When did you get the cast off your arm? Uh, honestly, I never really had a cast. That day of the injury, I had a splint. But after that, I was pretty cool. So I'm good. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it.